Venus is a lovely goddess of love and beauty who enjoys causing conflict among people. Obviously, this is in line with Greek and Roman mythology. But thousands of years later, ancient people conceived this cunning goddess and the origins of civilizations that revered her have vanished, and here we are. When we gaze up, we see a spectacular sky. A planet that will undoubtedly cause you to fall in love, much like its celestial counterpart. Good day and welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to KYC News. And today we'll take you on a surreal tour through Venus's labyrinth. What if I told you that the Earth, where we currently live, has a twin in the same galaxy as our Sun? System stunned, best be prepared Venus and the Earth have about the same size and mass and share a highly similar composition in addition to being close by planets, although could not be more dissimilar compared to the Earth's atmosphere, the Venusian atmosphere is around 100 times thicker. The sun's dreadful greenhouse effect raises the temperature of its surface. With an average temperature of 864 degrees, it is indeed so hot that lead would melt. The Fahrenheit scale Venus now holds the distinction of being the solar system's hottest planet as a result. Venus, on the other hand, is covered with oceans that are home to life and water, is covered in lava and volcanoes, and its surface pressure is same to ours. To emphasize how different these twins are, consider that they are located a mile below our oceans. One Venusian year is just 225 Earth days, while a day on Venus corresponds to 243 Earth days. You're correct. Venus has an incredibly slow rotation, which accounts for why a day on Venus is longer than a year. Compared to other planets in our solar system, Venus has the slowest speed. If that weren't odd enough, add that. You'll notice how these two planets differ from one another because it revolves in the other way from Earth. Due of these special circumstances, it has proven incredibly challenging for spacecraft to land a probe on Venus. Even robotic landers needed protection to withstand the intense heat and were barely able to survive. Despite all of this, we only have two hours at most to capture the greatest images for you today. During our 60 years of investigation, we have had a glimpse of Venus's magnificent and enigmatic beauty. Let's first observe the planet from a distance to see how it is completely covered in clouds. Additionally, these clouds contain some oxygen. Doesn't that make you feel almost at home at the Venusian troposphere's upper boundary? Where clouds form in the lowest portion of the atmosphere, a reaction between carbon dioxide and water vapor occurs. A buildup of oxygen, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen caused by sunlight. Despite the fact that oxygen and the sulfur dioxide in the troposphere interact, here's the twist, which experiences several chemical processes to produce sulfuric acid vapors these clouds regardless matter how uninhabitable the world becomes because they are formed of sulfuric acid. Remember that Venus is the goddess of beauty and not friendliness as you gaze at these lovely clouds. Due to its high index of reflection, sulfuric acid reflects around 70% of sunlight. The planet is illuminated, becoming the third brightest object in our sky after the sun and moon. Let's now look above the clouds. Did you know that Venus has some of the tallest buildings on Earth? Maxwell Montes, one of the highest peaks in the solar system, rises 6.8 miles above the average. It has giants that are almost twice as tall as Mount Everest and has a planetary radius. And as is to be expected from Venus, these mountains, for example, have some peculiarities. Are made of an unidentified substance that is highly reflective to radar wavelengths. Exactly because of this characteristic, they were also discovered rather quickly. They are one of the planet's brightest features in radar photographs, thus Maxwell Montes and honoring James Clerk Maxwell, a British scientist whose work served as the foundation for radar technology. Nevertheless, enough with small mountains, let's go on to massive volcanoes, like the Matmons. 
Venus's tallest volcano rises roughly 5 kilometers above the planet's surface. Distance from the surroundings, 3.1 miles, yes, you are correct. A lava cone the height of Mount Venus add to that the possibility that it is an active volcano, as if that weren't enough. For a volcano named for the Egyptian goddess of truth and justice, it would be a scary sight. Additionally, you should be aware that these behemoths live in what is known as a terra is a large highland region with unusual features. Let's discuss the largest and possibly most magnificent of the Venusian terry now. Check out Aphrodite Terra. Aphrodite is larger than Africa and higher than the Earth. This strange terra is between 0.6 and 3 miles above the mean planetary radius. Is that the majority of the land is tessera? Tessera, which means mosaic tile, is a very appropriate if we take into account the fact that these terrains are the most geologically complicated area on Venus, high ridges and troughs, parallel ridges and troughs, and deformed terrain with intersections and a variety of perspectives these tesserae can be so intricate that it might be challenging to even understand them. Imagine how they came to be, the lithosphere must have been under, the only certainty is that the extraordinary strains likely result from elevation and disintegration in the same places. Along with various additional processes that contributed to the development of this oddly endearing surface the geological phenomenon that lies underlying the Coroni, or more specifically, the known as the Crown of Venus, which can be found around the globe but is most common in Lada Terra. The monuments known as these crowns were created by blobs of heated material traveling from it. These blobs were moving from deep within the planet's surface up towards the surface. Elevate the crust and fracture it in a radial fashion as their name indicates material die appears. The initially raised crust may collapse under its own weight when they get closer to the surface and cool it. As a result of this procedure, the classic corona constellations outlying and concentric defects are produced. Upon a large, gently sloping surface of faults, fractures, and ridges, occasionally in a circular form. High terrain is one of those situations where there's more to it than meets the eye. A vast geological history of catastrophes that led to what we now observe and all the last time NASA undertook a mission to explore the fascinating world of Venus was 27 years ago. With what we now know about the planet, both magnificent and puzzling, it was high time that NASA redirected its attention to Earth's rival planet Venus has liquid oceans and is a habitable planet. Of course, everyone's top concern is that, and that is precisely what, what the Da Vinci mission is designed to discover NASA research scientist Lori Glaze created to the following assertion Venus is a fascinating planet with a great deal of unsolved mysteries. And I believe that in order to better grasp it, we must return to Venus. At the conclusion of this decade, in 2029, the mission is scheduled to launch. Be completed in two distinct phases, the first including many flybys of the planet. One can only picture the breathtaking up-close view of the planet of love we shall receive. But the second part is the most thrilling so far because for the first time ever, a probe will be it's crucial to keep in mind that the atmosphere of Venus is thinner when plunged into the planet's upper atmosphere is almost 90 times denser than Earth's atmosphere, which will undoubtedly prove to be a challenge the probe will gradually enter Venus' atmosphere and start collecting data. Of its components, not just gathering information about composition and structure is the primary goal here. Nonetheless, to look for any traces of oxygen that would provide us with information regarding the presence of water. The tiny ultraviolet to visible imaging spectrometer Cuvus and imaging system will be used by the Da Vinci. Spaceship to explore the planet's day side and gather information about previously unknown chemicals in Venus's upper atmosphere during the observational Venus imaging system during the second flyby, a reconnaissance or visor will investigate Venus's night side. To understand the long-term evolution of the planet's highlands after nearly being ignored for the past three decades due to the perception that it was a scientist's dead planet, it appears that Venus will soon receive the recognition she so well deserves. 
NASA is paying the big box a specific amount of $500 million and will at least two of these probes into its atmosphere and how they perform will only become clear with time. As they enter the planet's vile and toxic atmosphere, they will succeed. Then as we get closer to the most thrilling phase of our voyage, a visual delight will appear. Russian and American space exploration pioneers during the Cold War and these images of Venus are courtesy of the Russian Space Agency. The project was called despite the lack of documentation because the program took place in the former Soviet Union. Venera we am aware that Venera 4's successful first voyage to Venus took occurred in 1967. The achievement with Venera 7, and eventually, in 1975, we attained the success with Venera 9 and 10. These are the first images from the surface of Venus, and they are, as you can see, in black and white. However, the entire expedition represented a significant advancement in our understanding of the elusive planet. Sadly, the landers were not able to transmit many photographs because of the extreme weather. However, Venera 13 and 14 repeated their accomplishment, this time using color. With the help of cameras, we can see the surface of Venus as if we were there. Venera 13 managed to last the incredible 127 minutes, during which time it did more than just take images. However, when conducting various tests similar to the other landers and the Venera 14 surviving in just a little over an hour, the color image revealed how lonely Venus is. Despite the arid landscape and hazy haze, it has a certain primitive charm. Thrill that pierces your heart and is accompanied by the certainty that you saw it with your own eyes, what do you think? Would you like to have a close-up view of Venus while you are there? At Venus, let us know in the comments if you'd like to buy us coffee if you're feeling very kind. This will assist us in achieving our goal of giving you better and longer content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.